dealing with you What's up y'all, it's your girl Sinez and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So as you guys know, before I even start the video, let me go ahead and let you guys know if you haven't watched my last video, then I explain why this is my background. I am in a hotel in Pensacola, Florida. Um, I'm in recruiting school right now, so please excuse the uh, this Navy hotel. Um, you know, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> so today's video is going to be a pregnancy Q&A. Uh, oh, y'all, y'all see these nails? Well, I don't want to say these nails. They're my nails. So you guys know I do my own nails and stuff. And like, they're just so long and nice. These are our, my natural length nails right here. Um, just had to throw that in there because I was looking at them. I just did them today. Uh, anyways, <laughs> so I'm going to be looking down at my phone to get the question. So first question, what was your reaction to finding out you were pregnant? And will you be re-enlisting? Congratulations, by the way. Okay, so... Um, <laughs> Honestly, I had a feeling before. Um, I was feeling funny. I had missed my period. Um, I use the health app on the iPhone to track my period. And usually like it tells me a couple days before, hey, your period's gonna start in five days or hey, your period's coming soon, da da da. I didn't get that notification that month. Um, this was back in like June. I never, I didn't get it. Usually they send me like a little reminder that my period's coming, but they didn't send me a reminder that month, which I thought was really weird. And I was like, I mean, there's no way that this app is synced to to know if I would have gotten pregnant or not. Like, you know, like, so that's why it was just kind of weird. So that was like the first sign. Then the second sign was my period was taking forever to come. I was getting these cramps, like as if I was going to start, but there was nothing there. I spent Father's Day with uh, my man's family uh, for his dad. And we went like jet skiing. We was out at the beach. Like we was doing all this like fun family stuff. Um that night when we got back home um, i took shower i went to bed i woke up in the middle of the night with like really bad cramps like just really bad cramps i'm like okay this is it my period is coming we go ahead and put like a panty liner or something on so that way when i wake up I'm, I'm okay you know but i know it's coming um sure enough i woke up that morning nothing like nothing at all he was like why don't you just take a pregnancy test and i was just like why would I do that? I'm not pregnant. Like, like, I don't know why, but I just thought like that me getting pregnant was like impossible. Not saying that a doctor has ever told me that I couldn't have kids or anything like that, but I just never put me and pregnancy together. Like I knew I eventually wanted to have kids, like maybe like three years from now. Um, he went to work and when he left, I went to the store and got myself a pregnancy test. Um, I was off that day, by the way. So otherwise he would have went with me. Um, so yeah, so I went and I, peed and it didn't even hesitate to to sh tell me that i was pregnant usually it's like wait wait a couple minutes and like the one faint line and he, no it was just boom boom pregnant i was like damn and i found out at like three and a half four weeks like i find out i found out right away like i didn't really know how to feel um i wasn't upset i wasn't like sad i wasn't like scared well yeah i wasn't scared i didn't really have any emotions so the first thing I did was I took a picture and I sent it to him and he he responded and he was just like, you know, what? I don't remember what he said, but it was like, um, OK, how do you feel like the whole time he was more so focused on how I felt because he wanted the baby. But he didn't want to tell me that yet. He wanted to see how I felt and what my decision, what my thoughts were, things like that before he put his thoughts on me because he didn't want to. You know, he didn't just want to put his thoughts on me, not yet. So um really took me about a week, maybe two weeks to really like just think everything through. And to be honest, like the first thing that popped up in my mind when I saw that I was pregnant was the Navy, which is so sad. That is so depressing. Like the first thing that popped up in my head was the Navy. It wasn't money. It wasn't like struggle. It wasn't like, is this the right person? It, it, it was none of that stuff. Like everything else was fine. Like I had no stressors in any other area of my life or my relationship. It was the Navy. <laughs> and I say that because at the time I was already, I had already received orders. Um, I was already like about to PCS, like move. I, there were so many things I had already in line with my career. I didn't want to lose my orders. Let's say I would have had orders to go somewhere overseas or something like that. With me being pregnant, that could potentially risk me not being able to execute those orders as planned. So they would have 
canceled those orders and gave me different orders or kept me in Virginia and just had me do my pregnancy tour there um which would have sucked I didn't want to stay in Virginia like I didn't want to I wanted to go back home to Texas I already had plans we were buying a house like it was just so much going on and, and losing my orders was not I, I wasn't having it so that was the only thing that bugged me and stressed me out in the beginning of my pregnancy um to answer the second part of that question as far as me re-enlisting i had just re-enlisted last year so um i still have like to finish off my tour i have three more years left on the books and i will finish those three years recruiting um no i do not plan on re-enlisting again um because so right now i'm about to go on shore duty which is great i'm gonna be on land i don't have to go on a ship i don't have to go out to sea i don't have to go on deployment um so i'll be able to be here with my child raising my child being with my family my man like we will be a family we'll be together all the time but if i re-enlist my next tour is a sea tour meaning i will be on a ship meaning I will be going out to sea i'll be going on deployment and i cannot imagine spending seven months away from my baby no <laughs> i can't do it i i can't do it i mean i applaud the people that can and that do and that will but that's not me so um no i don't have plans on real listening but i didn't even have plans on real listening regardless if i would have had the baby or not i mean i know that's a smart decision in other people's eyes because they're like why would you do that you know um you, you can stay in you have a child now that's free health care you know financial stability a constant paycheck every two weeks blah 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 i don't care about none of that I'm so sure in my capabilities of becoming successful without the military that I don't need the military to secure any type of anything for me, my child, my man, none of that. Although my real estate plans have been pushed to the right just a little bit, just because I don't wanna take on more than I can handle and I wanna make sure that um, I can focus on just motherhood, like in the beginning, like once the baby's born and me learning how to um, breastfeed, learning how to do all these different things and becoming a mother. I wanna focus on that. I don't wanna be worrying about, you know, what good deal is out there for this duplex and um, do I have a tenant yet? And I don't wanna have to stress that yet. Once we're actually in our house in a comfortable place for not only us two, but our baby girl, then I will go ahead and start focusing on my real estate plan. Pretty much I'll hop back into the market looking for my um, first, rental property next winter i feel like that's more than enough time to get myself together um make sure that i have everything secure for my daughter and then i can you know execute my dreams so congratulations you are beautiful and your videos are helping me tremendously while trying to navigate where my while trying to navigate my navy journey i guess my biggest question is what's next you've been vocal about not wanting to be active duty once you started a family um as far as what's next i feel like i covered all that in my last response same thing with me not wanting to be active duty um yeah once this three years is up with me recruiting um i have no intentions on re-enlisting at all um i have no intentions on going to another ship now, one thing that i did learn is that there is an option to become a career recruiter you convert to the rate nc which is navy counselor and you're just a recruiter for the rest of your career and i know that sounds kind of funny but there's a lot of perks that comes with recruiting like you get a government vehicle you get a government phone like you are on land all the time you're not even in your rate anymore like i won't even be an os anymore and my career plan will just be getting sailors into the navy mentoring sailors the right way to be able to help them accelerate their career in the navy so that would be my sole goal um one thing that i always have wanted to do was be a counselor of some sort like a life coach um or helping like college students try to figure out where they want to go in life high school students like i i feel like i'm very very good at talking to people with people dealing with people and things like that that's why i feel like being a recruiter will, uh, like work out really well for me if i really do enjoy it that much and i want to stay in the navy and you know take on the benefits that i already have then i would consider i would consider being a career recruiter but at the end of the day i'm still in the navy so it's it's just it's kind of hit or miss like do i still want to put on this uniform go to work every day in an organization um i don't know yet i haven't started recruiting yet so i don't know how much i'll like it or how much i won't like it um so we'll see 
that's still open but that is the only way <laughs> that i will re-enlist it's a great stepping stone don't get me wrong it's an amazing stepping stone but it's just not for me um i feel like i've definitely outgrown i've taken everything that i could out of this organization i ran with it i did amazing i'm still continuously doing amazing but um as far as having a family um, we've already been talking about like do we want to have another kid back to back or do we want to space it apart um, we've already been talking about you know other things that we want to do in our relationship and stuff like that so yeah I don't think I want to I don't think I want to do this y'all like <laughs> for real like I just I want to be happy like not saying I'm not happy now but I just I want to focus on my family um, with the with the military like it's like you have to juggle and a lot of times sometimes you have to put the military first um and it's just and it's not something that i want to do not moving forward in my life so that is really my outlook on that um yeah okay so the next question i have um is little sad that you're moving from this area but can't wait to see what dallas has in store for you me too <laughs> um have you thought of any names yet yes we actually already have a name picked out i chose the first name he chose a middle name and then of course his last name so our daughter's name is going to be amina ivy holt okay so next question congratulations very excited for you and us what is the mindset now like how has she changed your whole plan to be honest my mindset is pretty similar if not 10 times more than what it was before i I have always been the type of person that's always been on go like I always had plans execute them um, if I have a goal I'm gonna get to that goal like there's no ceiling I've never ever seen a ceiling that's stopping me from accomplishing anything that I want to accomplish with me bringing a baby into this world it just makes me want to go 10 times more and it makes me want to hit my milestones faster so that way like I can put all my knowledge onto her I want to instill in her that there's no ceiling that she can literally be and do anything that she wants and I know like everyone grows up and their parents tell them that or they hear that you know you can be whatever you want you can be whatever you want but people don't really understand the concept of what that means you can truly be and do anything that you want you just have to have the knowledge and execute it like they always say knowledge is power but it's not applied knowledge is power i'm still executing everything nothing has changed um i'm just kind of putting her first right now and then you know giving myself a couple of months to kind of learn how to be a mom and then once i get that and once my man comes back from overseas he can be on daddy mode and i can actually grind and like open up this business and keep moving forward do you plan on having your baby included in future videos like family vlogs etc or do you prefer to keep your life private both is understandable and okay by the way just curious you guys know i'm very very private um, i don't really come on here and show too much of my personal personal life like i'm open i feel like i'm very open but i'm also very private um i i know like posting my gender reveal and you guys seeing like my me interacting with like my friends my man like you know stuff like that that was probably very different type of content for y'all from my channel at least um i don't know how this might sound but i probably won't post my daughter on social media well at least i won't post her face on social media probably until she's like crawling there's this like this thing um that i like learned growing up from both my hispanic parents um and it was called ojo so ojo is eyes in spanish like a like a evil eye like a like a jealousy eye let me give you guys an example let's say that you have a really really nice bracelet um it's expensive you know like you, you got it on you want to show it off like it's your bracelet it means a lot to you you spent money on it. and you're at school or you're out or whatever and somebody is really eyeing your bracelet like they want your bracelet like they, they like the bracelet like they're just staring at the bracelet like they just they i don't want to say jealous but they just have this ill intention when it comes to that bracelet and maybe a couple hours later you realize your bracelet's broken like the bracelet broken and you're like dang like I, I can't believe my bracelet broke like it was just something so random but you know it's like a superstition that that, that person was giving your bracelet ojo meaning like your that person was you know having a lot of ill energy towards that bracelet my parents always had me wear like when i was little um like a, they would have a bracelet with a little ojo on there it's like a little eye um or a necklace with the oil hook, you know like and you get it blessed and you just make sure that there's no ill energy or intentions given towards your you i believe in that obviously <laughs> so i just i don't want people looking at my daughter's face when she's still trying to develop herself you know when babies first come out the womb they're still developing in a sense and i don't need anyone looking at her 
um while she's in that state like of course i'm gonna take pictures for myself to have and you know get like photography done and things like that yeah but i'm not gonna post any of that on social media um i just feel like it's out of respect for my my child i might post her body <laughs> or i might post me holding her like you see the back of her head but you're not gonna see her face though <laughs> that's just me but as far as like youtube vlogs and things like that i have no problems um like posting like you know mom vlogs and like stuff like that i know my channel got popular more so on military content so i'm definitely going to in still incorporate military into my channel i'm about to be a whole recruiter y'all so <laughs> it's like that that military content is not going to stop it's only to be honest it's only going to get better and i'm i am going to incorporate some lifestyle in there you guys know i'm moving about to get an apartment for now then about to get a house um real estate like all this stuff is like my channel is not going to stop vlogs um juggling motherhood and being in the navy juggling a family and being in the navy um pros and cons with that i also want to make a video talking about my whole process with um you know medical and you know my appointments you know how everything i had to pay out of pocket for nothing as far as my baby and i'm pretty sure women that watch my channel um they would like they would have questions like that too so um yeah i think they answered that question right mom i'm gonna call you back i'm filming <laughs> i love you too guys congratulations on your pregnancy you're beautiful how does it work being pregnant while on active duty I'm going to boot camp soon and always wonder what would happen if I get pregnant in a couple years. Pretty much how it works is you get pregnant, <laughs> um, you go to your appointments, you have your baby, you're off for like three months after you have the baby and then you go back to work. <laughs> like that's literally how this in a nutshell summary how it'll go of course um in between that there's fine line but i'll actually make a separate video cater to just that because i think there will be a lot of i think i'll answer a lot of questions especially coming from a female um yeah so that's my answer to that one <laughs> congrats zb dallas is my hometown what are your fears on giving birth during this pandemic to be honest i haven't given it much thought um, I think the only thing I was like, I guess, I don't want to say worried about, but um, like concerned with is how many people I'll be able to have in the room with me when I'm delivering. I mean, I don't really want that many people anyways, but I do want like, you know, my man and um, my mom. And to be honest, like since I'm going to be recruiting, I'm not going to be at an actual base. Um, the closest base to my recruiting station is like the Fort Worth base. Um, and that's still like a 40 something minute drive. So therefore I'm not gonna be delivering at a base. Like, cause like for real, for real, if I'm just out and my water breaks, I'm not driving 40 minutes to the hospital, like no. So therefore I'll be on TRICARE Select, which is the health insurance that I'll have then. Therefore I'll actually be able to go to a civilian doctor. So that way I can choose my doctor, choose a hospital, choose, you know, everything. Whenever you are attached to a ship or attached to a command that's on a base and there's an actual medical facility there, you have to go there regardless. So that's a really big blessing um, for me with being on recruiting duty and giving birth while on recruiting duty. As far as like the whole COVID thing, like don't get me wrong, I've been taking it very serious, especially now more that I'm pregnant. I definitely wear my mask everywhere. I just, I haven't really thought too much on it. Of course, I'm not going to take her anywhere. Like, she's going to be a newborn, so I'll just be at home. All right, guys, so that's all the questions that I'm actually going to be answering today. Um, a lot of them were kind of repetitive, or I feel like I answered them already. Um, I kind of went really in-depth with my answers. I feel like I'll probably be filming another Q&A like this um, later on down the line when I'm a lot bigger and a lot of more things have been happening. Probably once I'm, like, in Dallas and I check into my stations, you know, like, I'll have more... Um, to talk about or to be honest maybe once i deliver and stuff that'll be a big q a <laughs> um but yeah so thank you guys so much for watching thank you guys so much for supporting me thank you guys so much for tuning in <laughs> comment below what you guys want to see next and i'll see you guys in my next video bye